Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today I am promising you this is going to be the last thing you need to see about this palette because today I am doing a palette bingo with a Zodiac palette from Colourpop. I have done a series during 2019 where I did my Zodiac series so I have used all of the shades in this palette for one month or I did a makeup look with all of the shades each shade every month so okay I'm going to do like a finale on this area and I'm going to do a palette bingo and it's going to be fun to use more than one shade um, and do a little bit more what I want maybe I should just have done like whatever I want but I like to do palette bingos so I'm going to do that so I'm going to generate five numbers Five, nine, four, can you see? Six and eight. So five, nine, four, six and eight. And palette looks like this. So number five is this Leo shade. Maybe I can swatch it for you. So Leo is number five and then I got number nine Sagittarius. This is pretty dry. But these two looks good together. Uh, number four and that is cancer and this I what I can remember I like this one it's pretty light but it's like a nice shade so so far so good I don't know if you can see the cancer shade and then number six that is Virgo this is pretty dark but I think I have nothing to complain about with this And then number eight, that is Scorpio. And okay, this, I didn't get my favorite shade, which is Gemini. And this, yeah, it's not an awful color story at all. It's, it's not that fun and it's only two matte shades. But yeah, I'm going to stare at this a little bit, thinking about what I want to do, and then we just get started with this makeup look. Okay, I actually don't know if I'm sure what I want to do, but I'm just like, I have to just start because I have to do something. <sighs> okay, so I don't know if this is a stupid idea, but I'm doing it now. I'm going to take Virgo and put it in my crease, and this is... This is pretty dark, so I'm taking a smaller blending brush, tap it off quite a bit and then try to not have like too much in my crease and maybe it's going to work. Yes. This is not like a shade that I have something against, but it's not just, I don't think it's that fun. So maybe this works, but I will go in with my normal blending brush just to smudge it a little bit more because this is a little bit bigger. But like right now it's very concentrated in my crease and I think I like that. Okay, maybe I want to do something else than what I planned. Or no. No no no. I do I do the thing that wasn't my plan. Okay, and then I know 
a lot of you like when I wear purple, so I'm going to take Sagittarius. Now I have to practice these words again. Um, and put it on my outer corner of my eye. And I'm not a big fan of purple. This purple is actually pretty okay. It feels pretty dry in the pan, but I don't think it's any problems with it. And do any of you have this palette? It f first I thought it was a limited edition palette, but what I know, it's still available and they also released all the shadows as singles in like some mini, not like just a pan, in like a little mini container. I don't know if it maybe was intended to be a limited edition first but then when like last year was all about like zodiac signs and astronomy maybe they were like okay we're going to keep on to this so and then i went to go in with leo this one and put it in my inner core the rest of my lid because i love if I'm going to use purple, I love to match it with like yellow and this is as close to yellow as I got with this palette because I'm taking Leo and what I can remember, I don't need a glitter glue. No, I do not. And I think it's a little bit hard with this palette because it is not... The quality with all the shades isn't like equal. Some are so so good and other shades are not that good and it is both with the shimmer and the mattes. And overall I usually like Colourpop's shimmers but in this palette it is some of them that are so dry. Maybe not dry, but if you've used Colourpop, you know, some of their shimmer shades are like a mousse. They are really, like, they are really, really good. But some in, these, in this palette, they are so freaking dry. Okay, I think just like easy as this, I'm just going to go over with my crease brush because I maybe took it a little bit too high just something like that I think I like this okay so I think I am happy with the lids like this so I will take away the fallout fix my base and then I come back and we'll do the under eyes and I have two shades left I have these two these two so cancer and scorpio so yeah i will fix my base and then i come back so time for the under eyes and i will start with scorpio and take it the whole way and then put cancer in my inner corner i really hope that this will work but scorpio doesn't feel like i don't know I will tap this off though and hope for the best. Yeah, this works like this. This feels more like a satin shade. I'm like so bad with formulas and texture. Texture. On eyeshadows, but this feels like it's not. It is not like as crumbly as the Leo, and it's not a matte shade, so it feels more like it has some shimmer to it, but it doesn't. I don't know. I, 
wicked though. The only thing I don't know if it like show that much underneath my eyes that it has a little sheen to it. I don't know but Okay, and then I will take cancer and put it in my inner corner and I will spray it because I don't want it to fall on my face. I really hope that this likes go together with both the one I have under my eye and also the one in my crease and I in my crease in my inner on my lid I think it goes good so okay I will fix I will take something in my waterline I don't know what yet and also put on mascara and a lippy so I fix that and then I come back okay so for my waterline I used Piggy Bank from Colourpop and for my lips I used a new one from Colourpop. This is Freak and Frack. It's an ultra satin and it was a little bit more like purple than I expected it to be. But I think I like it. It's my application, not the best work I have done. So this was the last episode in or the last part in my Zodiac area. So this was my palette bingo with the Zodiac palette and I got, okay, let me see, I got Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Scorpio and Sagittarius and I like this look, I really like Leo that I have on half of my lid and if I'm going to pair, if I'm going to wear purple I want to pair it with something either gold or yellow or something in that family because I feel most comfortable with that and this mascara I, I, I don't get it it's crumbled all the time okay but I just want to share some thoughts I have with this palette this palette is still available and I think all of the shadows also exist as little singles like in a little own container and I would recommend you to buy the singles and not the palette because all of these shades are not good. The shades that I really really think are super good in this palette it is I really love Gemini this gold one it's amazing also Cancer is really good Leo is really good actually Libra as well I think it's a really unique and I really like it and I think that is the colors that I would recommend <laughs> so yeah uh, this looks super cool but it's one of the like it's not so easy to work with and it's a little bit I don't know it's like if we compare it to Gemini this is so creamy and I think You maybe can see the difference that Gemini is so opaque and Aries are also nice but it's also like a little bit too hard and it almost feels like I got hard pen in this. It looks like that. So I wouldn't <laughs> recommend you to buy this palette. And I actually think this is not as good as Colourpop's other palettes that's just my opinion but yeah that was all with this palette I think he maybe is going to retire from my channel now I don't know it feels like this this palette I think I've used this more than I've used any of my other palettes because I've used this 13 times right now that is a lot <laughs> for if you have a beauty channel like me and you are a makeup collector 13 times in on one palette is quite a lot because I don't wear makeup from day to day but yeah this little guy <laughs> is going to take a break for me 
maybe I want to use like Gemini sometimes. But yeah, I really hope you liked my Zodiac series. It, it was fun to do it and I have a series now this year as well where I try to use palettes in my collection that I don't use that much. So I have a palette of the month. But yeah, that was all for this video. I really hope you liked it and if you're not subscribing, I hope you will so you don't miss and what? And if you don't subscribe, make sure. Sometimes I'm like, what the hell <laughs> do I usually say? Don't forget to subscribe and I hope I will see you in the next one. I think I say that. Bye.